so guys this is complete list of tutorial what i'll be covering in this in angular 20 tutorial so this is the first chapter chapter number one chapter number two in this way i will be covering around 18 chapters and after this i will also show you that how you can create a complete blog project using angular 20 so guys step by step i will be covering one by one so this is the first video and uh, in the first video what we will do we will complete this section we know that what angular is all about guys let me tell you about myself i've been working on angular on angular js when when it was called initially it was called angular js and i've been working on angular version 1.0 since then and now you can see it is angular 20 so you can see this is a long journey after angular 1 it came 2.0 and there was a drastic change a huge change after that the pattern completely was changed in that so so starting from angular 1 to 20 i've been working on all this platform so i'll try my best to provide you the best tutorial in this so guys what is angular first we'll cover this one and then features of angular 20 actually i have dedicated created a new video another video actually in which i have outlined complete new features of angular 20 let me show you in my same channel you can see i had complete tutorial of angular 17 and now this time i am going to record angular 20 so guys uh, here you can see angular 20 and then on what are the new features of in angular 20 you can find in this video in this video series here this is the first video so you can find here what is angular what is new in angular 20 i have completely uh, explained in this so after this this is the first video where i'll be talking about angular 20 and then how to install how to install node.js and all that so all the topics we will be covering in this so let's begin with the first chapter so what is angular 20 angular 20 is the latest most powerful release of google's front-end framework so remember this uh, angular is actually a javascript front-end frame framework offering improved performance streamlined development standalone components support and this chapter in, in this chapter we will be knowing that how we can install and all that step by step but before that let's understand about what angular is all about so we have to understand that what angular is all about angular is a popular typescript based from uh, front-end framework developed by google this is important angular is a popular typescript based front-end framework developed by google it allows developers build single page as application that is called spa single page application that means what normally what happens if you might have seen uh, the uh, website developed by uh, developed through you know php jsp or sp.net normally what happens if you click on any link then whole pages uh, the whole page refreshes okay but in this case in angular what happens if you click in the left side then it updates only uh, the required section of the page not whole page so that is why it is called uh, spa or single page application means uh, the url will stay will be changing but the part of the page will only will update wherever it is required that's why it is called spa so unlike react or vue.js angular is a, a full fledged framework so unlike react or uh, vue.js angular is a full fledged framework uh, built in routing from handling which that means what you will see in angular you don't have to install anything extra for example if you are learning react.js then react router dom you will have to in install additionally similarly in vue.js you will have to install uh, react uh, you will have to uh, install a router but in angular you don't have to install anything uh, regarding routing from outside it is already inbuilt and also uh, http support and dependency injection all the things are already included in angular i've already mentioned you uh, that you know i have dedicated one complete video where i have outlined the new features of angular 20 but in this case what we are going to do just uh, we are going to have a uh, brief introduction in this so what are the main features 
stand alone components by default means earlier in earlier version you had to write that stand alone true but in this case whenever you will be installing i will show you I, whenever you will be installing uh, any project then stand alone component will automatically get installed you don't have to mention there this stand alone uh, concept actually have come after angular 14 before that there was no concept of stand alone uh, this components okay so in a further video i will also discuss that what is the difference between stand alone and non stand alone so that is another topic so i will be discussing that later that uh, later one the second one is improved hydration and ssr performance so what is ssr server side rendering that means what whenever you are uh, developing uh, any application you can develop using angular a complete seo friendly website so that is the part of ssr so i'll be discussing about this one also so in angular it has been improved in angular 20 particularly faster rendering and build uh, optimization actually earlier it was used john john.js and because of that there was slow so now john dot without even without john dot js you can work so now the build time and also the application is lightweight so that thing has been uh, improved in angular 20. external experimental signals in angular 20 a new concept of form building has been introduced and that is called signals actually this is still in beta version and this is particularly for developer experimental it's not completely a part of angular so but it has been introduced in uh, angular 20 and i also check this this is really very good next one is improved developer tooling and diagnostics so uh, a lot of other things has been also improved in this we will see that later so guys these are important changes important improvements which uh, comes with angular 20. next one what you will have to do node.js and npm setup actually whenever you will be installing node.js then npm automatically it comes with that and it will get installed you don't have to install anything extra so now the uh, the question is how you can install node.js it's very straightforward very, very easy so what we will do just go to google and just write here install node.js on windows so you can see just click on this and then you will be prompted here you will be displayed here that what uh, version you want to install automatically it is displaying here msi version so whenever you click here so i'm showing here windows version in case you have macintosh then you can select this one also linux aix so there are different versions here available so in my case i'm going to show you windows installer or msi so once you click it's a lightweight it will get installed automatically just click on this and then installation starts let's wait yeah next and then you, of course you will have to agree and then next so it shows the path where it will get installed next then don't you don't do anything go next and it says that okay automatically install necessary tools like chocolate and all that so if you click then it will get installed uh, it will install you uh, the, all the necessary things so normally you can click here and then next install so the installation will start okay now it's finished so press any key to continue it's also configuring actually with windows powershell that's why this window has come actually we selected to install all uh, the dependency no? that's why because you know you know you can see this dependency chocolate is also being installed it is checking python version so whatever is required in this it's trying to install here okay so all the dependencies has been now installed so now to verify that what we need to do let's open here cmd or command prompt you can see node.js command prompt dedicatedly has been also installed here but we can check from here as well so node sorry node and then hyphen hyphen v it will display you oh 
actually no, there will be no uh, double hyphen node hyphen b single single hyphen okay it is displaying that node version 22.16.0 has been successfully installed so this is the latest version that was installed here in our machine all right so now this uh, section we have uh, installed here we have already checked this now we will install cli command line interface this is called command line interface so rather than uh, creating the files of uh, manually you can create the files uh, you know using cli so it is faster so let's do that thing also now or this page is already open here what we will do we will install that cli okay this g actually this g is for global means once this is installed then it can be accessed from uh, any directory it doesn't have to be this user you can access this from anywhere okay so now let's install this one as well okay it's giving some suggestion it is saying that the new version has come so in case if you want then you can update this one as well for the time being it's, it's fine so let's keep it now ng version we can check that what version it installed okay you can see angular cli 20 point something and note this so all the information it is displaying that what version of angular we are going to use cli so guys you can see it is 20 version okay so that means what it's almost or updated now to install uh, angular what we will do i will create a new project here better i'll name it as um, front end frameworks and inside this i'll name it as angular because all the projects i will be installing in this file only this this directory only okay so what we need to do let's close it and then just type here cmd that means and it will open now to install the project just we need to type this one guys just go here and then this is the project name actually ng is command and this is also command this is your project name so what i'll do i will name it as first project okay remember you can put here hyphen okay so now press enter yes it says that do you want to create a journalist application without john.js yes because in angular 20 if you press yes then what will happen without john.js we can install it and this is a new feature in angular 20 right so what we will do and it says that it is developer preview means it's not stable so in case if you are developing the project for a client then it is recommended not to select john less you select john .js with john .js because it's still in beta version it is still being tested so maybe your application may have some problem but if you are doing this for learning purpose then fine so what we will do for the time being uh, it says that we want to create create a, a journalist application without don't john don't yes we will say uh, no for the time being no now it says that okay css we want yes of course then do you want to enable server side uh, rendering for the time we will say no later i will show you that how we can do this also but we don't want to make it complicated in the beginning that's why i am selecting no now it started creating the project okay so let's wait until it's finished all right so now it's finished now what we will do just uh, just write here cd and then your project name so our project name is first uh, project no 
project yes so now we are inside that after this what we need to do ng serve open okay just type this so guys you can see this tutorial i have created myself so this will be also helpful for you for example for referring point if you forget then you can come down here and you can check and you can practice here as well as i'm providing the video so of course both of these will be helpful and guys in case if you are new then i strongly recommend you guys please help me by just subscribing you uh, ask the questions in comment box like the video and uh, share also so that got guys i'll be also get motivated and it takes a lot of time you know to research and uh, it takes time to prepare the things and then you start creating video so it takes a lot of effort so of course i expect some help from your uh, your end also so okay and guys one more thing in case if you want to learn angular 20 uh, from us then a number will be provided in the uh, uh, bottom of this video you can uh, contact us uh, we can provide online offline as well uh, this training so that is also available anyway and if you have any project angular project then we do angular projects also so as i told you that i have been working on angular for long time so in case if you have any this kind of projects you can refer to us all right so now let's come back here and get to the point so we will just click on this and now so it says that okay do you want to send uh, if there is any error to uh, angular <coughs> so no i can just say and then it's uh, compiling now so that's it it's done let's open so guys successfully angular 20 has been installed enjoy stay connected in the next chapter we will be covering another things so let's meet in the next chapter thank you bye bye